you come here to do tonight. Lift your voice. We bow down. We bow down. And worship. You are God. The only living God. The only wise God. We bow down. And worship. Yahweh. We bow, we bow, we bow. We bow down.
say neighbor congratulations to you you will not miss your own encounter with destiny on this mountain in the name of Jesus on behalf of God's servants I welcome you here tonight in the name of God the Father Son and of the Holy Spirit I thank God for the privilege given to me tonight by my father in the faith and my pastors and the pastorate God bless you, sirs. I bring the welcome chart to you. I'd like to charge you tonight briefly on God has not called you in vain. God has not called you in vain. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 19 says, For God has not spoken in secret. He said, I have not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Do you think that the God who created the heavens and the earth will take you away from all other things and bring you here and not make provision for you? Now, in the physical, it's been said that the day you have an opportunity to meet a governor, or a president here on earth. When you get a complimentary card from them. And they put their signature at the back. It is an assurance. That if only you can see them. Your matter is settled. At least leaving that place. You are not permitted to come out empty. Now how much more. Will the king of kings. The lord of lords. The president of presidents. The rose of Sharon, he that makes kings, the master of the universe, how will he call you and allow you to go in vain? He deliberately called this particular Easter youth camp encounter with destiny because I know there is somebody's destiny here tonight that will receive a turn around from this mountain beginning from tonight. I see you having an encounter with destiny. The God who brought you here, he had plans for you before he brought you. That is why he brought you at a time like this. Now, please note that in case you came here without an expectation, begin to turn your mind around and begin to develop an expectation. Because that is the breather of manifestation. I see someone living here tonight, even from this mountain, with their manifestation. In the name of Jesus, jump up on your feet tonight and begin to pray an expectation prayer. What is that thing that took you to this mountain? You desire even a change of story. Tell God, the world who brought you here to give you your own change of story. You came here even with sense of confusion. Speak to my God, the God of my father and the faith for my change of story. Speak to him tonight. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. As you have come to this mountain, I see you return with your change of story. Put your hands together for Jesus and please be seated. Praise the Lord. 
Shortly we shall be rising up to pray. And when we do, we shall be saying, Father, thank you for the safe arrival of all participants at this year's Easter Youth Camp meeting. I thought I would hear a big amen from you. <laughs> the Bible speaking from the book of Psalms chapter 31 and verse 11. And the Bible says, he will command his angels consigning you to guide you in all his ways. Without understanding, let's rise. We are praying, saying, Father, thank you for the safe arrival of all participants at this year's Easter Youth Camp meeting. Thank you, Father, for the safe arrival of all participants at this year's Easter Youth Camp meeting. Is someone opening your mouth to thank him? Thank him from the depth of your heart. Make sure you are opening your heart to thank God. We are saying, Father, thank you for the safe arrival of all participants at this year's Easter Youth Camp meeting. We give you praise. We have come to say thank you. We have come to celebrate your name. Make sure heaven is hearing your voice wherever you are sitting or standing. Lift up your voice. Appreciate him. Thank him. Thank him from your heart. Saying, Father, we thank you for the safe arrival of all the participants at this year's Easter Youth Camp meeting. Open up your voice. Lift up your voice. Thank him. Appreciate him. Give him praise. Thank you, Jesus, for the safe arrival of all the participants at this year's Easter Youth Camp meeting. We give you praise. We have come to give you praise. We have come to return all the glory back to you. Thank him from the depth of your heart. Appreciate him. Lift up those voices. Give him thanks. Appreciate him. Thank him from your heart. Lord, we give you thanks for safe arrival of all the participants at this year's Easter Youth Camp meeting. Open your voice loud. Give him thanks. Open your voice loud. Appreciate him. Lift up those voices. Make sure you are saying something to the Lord. Make sure you are giving him thanks. Make sure you are praising him. Make sure you are returning all the glory back to him. Oh, for the safe arrival of all the participants at this year's Easter Youth Camp meeting. Lift up those voices. You can thank him in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Aria Glabo Balaka for the safe arrival of all the youth from far and near. We have come to give you praise. We have come to return all the glory back to you. Leva la Bojala. Likla Popa Liagadama. Lord, we have come to give you thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for the safe arrival of all our participants. At this year, Easter Youth Camp meeting from far and near. Lift up the voice and give it thanks. Wave those hands before him. Celebrate him. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be to your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Put those hands together for Jesus and have your seat. Shortly, we shall be upstanding to continue in the prayer. We shall be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, upon this mountain, confirm the theme of this event, encounter with destiny to the fullest in the life of everyone. We shall be taking our strength from the book of Isaiah 44, verse 26, which says, that confirmed the word of his servant and performed the counsel of his messenger. And the latter say, it shall be built and I will raise up the decayed places. This shall be testimony in the life of someone here today in the name of Jesus Christ. With well, this understanding, let's be upstanding. Lift up your voice in the name of Jesus. Upon this mountain, confirm the theme of this event. Encounter with destiny to the fullest in the life of everyone in the name of Jesus. Let your faith be activated let your faith come alive. Pray a prayer that must be answered now. In the name of Jesus, upon this mountain, 
confirm the theme of this event, Encounter with Destiny, to the fullest in the life of everyone. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice, pray a prayer that must be answered. You are not returning the same way you have come. Lord, let it be evidence in the life of everyone that indeed they have seen your encounter. They have seen a change of testimony. Lift up your voice and pray a prayer that must be answered now. In the name of Jesus, Father, upon this mountain, confirm the theme of this event, encounter with destiny to the fullest in the life of everyone. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Let your faith be activated. Is there anything that is too hard for him to do? He has confirmed his word. He will perform it. Lift up your voice and declare, pray, Lord, I'm not returning back the same way I have come. In the name of Jesus, upon this mountain, confirm the theme of the month, the theme of the event, encounter with destiny to the fullest, Lord, in the life of everyone. In the name of Jesus, I'm not returning back the same way I have come. I want a change of testimony. He said, upon this mountain, Lord, confirm your word. Lift up your voice and pray. It is not the time to pray a silent prayer. Let your faith be activated. You come alone, you are returning with testimony. The word must sin. Lift up your voice, Father, in the name of Jesus. Upon this mountain, I'm not returning back the same way I've come. Confirm your word. The theme of this event, encounter with destiny to the fullest in the life of everyone. Everyone, confirm it. Lift up your voice. If you believe that you have come upon this mountain for a change of story, it is not the time to murmur. It is time to activate your faith. I'm not returning back the same way I have come. Confirm the theme of this event. Throw your word. Activate your faith. Confirm it. Lift up your voice and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Cry unto him in the unknown tongues because he's the God that makes all things possible. I have come. This year is going to be my year. Maranda Katali. Few seconds to go. Rata balekeze le ronde kezi da kusha de kataria mayeke zor le raba baba ba ya kazonde kete maranda kata rata kezonde kederia. Father, confirm the theme of this event. Lift up your voice. Rata pashe kazo maranda deba. Father, Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Shall we have a seat? It is my new dawn era. Youth alive. Encounter with destiny. We'll be on our feet again in a moment to pray, and we shall be saying, Father, in this opening session of the camp, let every participant have an encounter with striking lights from your word, thereby opening a new chapter for each one. Say, believing, amen. Psalm 119 verse 130, the Bible says, The entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding to the simple. Someone who is ready to take light away from this mountain, stand to your feet and lift your voice to heaven. And uh, we are saying, Father, in this opening session of the camp, let every participant have an encounter with striking lights from your word. Thereby opening a new chapter for each one. Let's lift up our voices to heaven and call on the God of lights that each one participant that he has brought into this camp shall receive striking lights 
that will indeed emanate from the word that will open up new chapters to each one. Father, in him was life, your word says, and that uh, life was the light of men. Therefore, Father, we ask that in this opening session of the camp, let every participant have an encounter with striking lights from your word, thereby opening a new chapter for each one. Make sure you're praying. Let the Lord hear your voice tonight. Don't be silent. It's no time to be looking around. Lift your voice to heaven and let's pray for striking lights, striking lights from the word of God in this opening session of this Easter youth camp. Father, in this opening session of the camp, let every participant have an encounter with striking lights from your word, thereby opening a new chapter for each one. Lift your voice to heaven and call on your father. Pray this prayer with all intensity, with all fervency, remembering that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Call on your father to send striking lights from his word in this opening session that will culminate in new chapters being opened for everyone. Don't be silent. Don't be watching others pray. You also lift your voice to heaven and call on your father. Call on your father. We are saying, Father, in this opening session of the camp, let every participant have an encounter with striking lights from your word, thereby opening a new chapter for each one. Every word that comes from God is loaded with light. And when striking light comes, new chapters are open. Therefore, let's call on our Father. Pray, saying, Father, in this opening session of the camp, let every participant have an encounter with striking lights from your word, thereby opening a new chapter for each one. For in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. The same was in the beginning with him. And all things were made by him. And without
message of love or care from a male friend. Ah, is this the man I want to marry? Ah, okay. What kind of love is this? Ah. Calm down, calm down, Aisha. You know what problem I have now is I want to know who you are talking about. Is it the same Ruben, the one that imports cars, the CEO of Car Links? Who is? Is it what? The same Ruben? Then there is no problem. He must really love you. Ah ah, the love, love who care. See, calm down. We express love in different ways. That must be the best way he can express his love. Aisha has not fainted. I collapsed several times. Look at me today. Am I not looking good? He's taking very good care of me. And we are married today. Dolapo. Oh. Yes. Do you even love your husband? Uh, actually, I like him. But is there anything like love? I see. You don't love your husband. You're not even being fulfilled. Uh -uh. I mean, love is a deep affection that you feel for somebody or something. You cannot have it and not know. Uh -uh, and that is, is exactly what my husband and I feel for each other. Uh -uh. Um, actually, I really don't have strong feelings for Ruben, no. Like I do for Richard. Really it's what? Really what? You better forget that poor plumber and place your focus on Ruben. The guy is taking care of you and he's taking care of us. Uh -uh. It is money that you will need for everything in that relationship. I've been a love when I go to chop. Uh -uh. Are you still in faith? Even the Bible says money answers all things. Kim oh, James Version. Okay, come off it. Uh -uh. Love is the greatest of them all. Love is not self-seeking. Love is patient. Love always hopes. A recent survey was carried out on couples' love needs. And number one on their list was unconditional love. We also have communications, companionship, sexual intimacy, spiritual intimacy, and many others. There was nothing like selfish love or beating. It is well. Aisha, you need to retrace your steps. Oh, thank you, my sisters. It is well. I pray God help me to find love Amen. and stay fulfilled. Amen. Where are you going to? Let me just see. You cannot spoil our plan. We have a party we are going to. You must I'm go. No, just in the mood. What you plan for? We are going together. Pretend as if the beating head. is not painful. Sorry. He really beats Sorry. me. He really beats me. Oh. <laughs> Look at my hand. I'm not. <laughs> Joy, the day of joy, the day of joy. This is a day of joy, the day of joy, the day of joy. This is the day of joy, this is the day of joy, the day of joy. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. And all the time. Congratulations once again. Now that you have signed the marriage register, it is important that you know that marriage begins with a choice. A right choice inspired by the Holy Spirit leads to an encounter with destiny. Likewise, a wrong choice guided by carnality is better broken in relationship than in marriage, your marriage will not end in divorce. A lot of people have been looking for love. They have been searching everywhere. Quite a number have found it. Some other ones have lost it. Some have even crashed their destinies because of it. Your marriage will not crash. In the mighty name of Jesus, this union is blessed to last forever. In the name of Jesus, you will encounter great destinies in life. In the name of Jesus. Well, it is time to go to the reception. But let me release the priestly blessings on you again. That as you go, the Lord God Almighty shall continue to go with you. In the name of Jesus. And for those that are believing God for a day of joy like this, your own time too will come. In the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace in fellowship. Surely, 
God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall join the praise of the Lord forever. Amen. Congratulations once again. You are blessed by the Lord. Amen. Choir. This is the day of joy. The day of joy. The day of joy. This is the day of joy. The day of joy. The day of joy. Only the joy of rest. Only the joy of rest. The joy of rest. Life, you shall be announced to your world. Praise God. It is testimony time. If you hear your name, please rush forward to share your testimony with the brethren. Aborowa, Victoria. Judith, Uti. Blessing, Okoro. Ogenetega. Diamond. Please, if you hear your name, quickly rush forward and share your testimony with God's children. As we wait for them, let's pay attention to these written down testimonies. I want to give the glory to God Almighty for terminating eight years of academic stagnation in my life. It all started when I finished my secondary school. I wrote my Waek and passed. The issue of how to go to school was there for all. How do I survive in school? I have nobody. But few years ago, when I joined this commission, I began the faith metamorphosis. Last year, Easter Youth Alive Conference was the turning point in my life. During the Wonder Double, I and a team of kingdom soldiers will go to schools to preach the gospel in secondary schools, Friday fellowships. We have seen multitudes of students give their life to Christ. I'm a member of the Faith Tabernacle Choir and also a member of the Youth Choir. The song we sang titled Sound the Alarm and the Pastor Kunle Adeyinka's fire-loaded word. It is your thought class that determines your class in life. That was the end. I obtained jam form, though at a very late time. The next Saturday after my registration was my exam date. Yet, Jesus gave me a score above 200. And the score was good enough to fix me in for mathematics and education in OAU. And funny enough, I have paid my acceptance and tuition fee. I'm only left with accommodation, which I know the Lord will pay before I resume. I give God all the glory. The chain has been broken. Kingdom marketing works like no other. The testifier is Odutayo Shergon. Put those hands together for Jesus. Your name, straight to the point, what did the Lord do? It's my new donor. I want to appreciate God of this commission for what he did in my life. Last year, youth, my name is Blessing Damian Okoro. I came here as a single last year Easter youth camp. And as God will have it, I met my husband the first day of the camp. And, and to the glory of God, we were gloriously wedded December 30th, 2017. To the glory of God. Hallelujah. Youth Alive, my name is Ogenetega Diamond. I've come to return all the glory to the Lord of this commission for an unusual alert just today. I work with an organization 
October to December last year. They didn't pay my October salary, not until December 1st. Um, I, I left the, the organization um, December 31st last year. Just today, as I got to this ground, they just, I just received an, received an alert from the company and for one month, and all the debts have been paid. I give all the glory to God. Praise the Lord. It's my new donor. My name is Victoria Borora. I want to give God all the glory. Last year when I was in school, I was about to write to Ayek and Jamba and all. Then God told me that if you do what they are doing, you will not get admission. And that was the word. I was the only one in the whole set that stood with God, that didn't cheat, that didn't use the runs. I was humiliated, I was embarrassed, but I was standing with God in faith. My Ayek result came out. It was not good, but I cried. And I believed God. And I was to go to Unilag to study law. And the merit list came out, and the devil did it, but God is always there. I was 0.5 short of the merit list to enter for law, and I told God that if it is for you to cancel the merit list, I have to enter because I stood with you despite the embarrassment. And God did it. He canceled the merit list for the first time in the history of Unilag. And when they were giving the admission to people, my name did not come out. July, I was waiting. August, September, October, November, still on God. Faith was shaking. But December, I went to God in, on my news, and I cried. Because Pastor David Oyedepo Jr. said, if you cry like a baby to God, he will answer you. I cried like a baby to God, and Jesus, let your will be done. Exactly two days, my name came out, and I was giving law. I thank God. It's my new dawn era. My name is Uti Judith. I'm here to give God all the glory and to thank the God of this commission that changed levels by Kingdom Advancement Engagement. I got a job in 2016, which I had to leave due to one issue or the other. But I still continue steadfastly engaging in Kingdom Advancement prayer, reaching out to souls and following them up. And for 10 good months, I had no job. But I was still continuing to the extent that people started asking, am I an evangelist? That every morning they see me come out and my siblings were bothered. But I still kept on to God. And in 2017, it surprised me with a new job. And I still continued. In 2017, it surprised me with a new job. I still continued engaging. And when it was like that same job that God gave me was shaking. God remembered me in February. The place I left in 2016, my boss called me and said, we need you back. And this time, we are going to follow your terms and conditions. And this time, we are going to offer you a package that is better than what you were earning. And to the glory of God, my annual package in my new job is running into millions of naira. I've come to give God all the glory that changes levels. And indeed, Matthew 6, 33 works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is the doer of these great things? Why don't you shout hallelujah? Youth alive. An encounter with destiny. Right now, this service is offering time. Say it louder. Louder yet. The loudest we can. Say a believing amen to that. So right now, I'm sure you have a seed in your hand with which you have come to worship the almighty God. Package it honorably. Label it appropriately as we get set right now to worship God with our seed. And as you do so tonight, remember God's word. It says to us very clearly, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and what? It will begin for you even upon this ground. You will encounter financial destiny. Can I hear louder? Amen. So put your offerings together and label it properly right now. If you have done so, please rise up on your feet as soldiers of Christ and youths in the house. Rise up on your feet, take your seat in your hand, lift it up to the Lord and present it to him 
Lift up your seat and lift up your voice and thank him and praise him and bless his name. Magnify him because your hands are not empty. Because you have come with seed in your hand to worship the almighty God. Give him praise and glory. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Keep your seed lifted. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have come on this opening night of this youth conference with seed in our hands. Lord, behold it and let it be acceptable in your sight. As we drop this seed tonight, therefore, welcome to your season of financial surprises. These hands shall never lack anymore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let your amen be a louder one. Please now you may take your seat, cast your seat as we welcome the youth choir. Hallelujah.
you are here mountains turn to flame Jesus you are here captives every way set to free Jesus you are here and healing healing every broken heart Jesus you are here word it is my new dawn era give Jesus a big hand and please be seated in a moment God's word will be coming in our direction and it is our expectation that determines our experience the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 18, it says, surely there is an end and thine expectation shall not be cut off. What happens at the end is determined by what you expect at the beginning. God has brought you here to this mountain for a visitation, but what do you expect? A man came in contact with Jesus, his name was Bartimaeus. He cried out loud until Jesus had to stop. But there was no specific request. And Jesus asked him, what will you have me do? I'd like you to know Jesus is here tonight and is appearing by his word. But what will you have him do? In a moment, you are going to have the opportunity to desperately express what that expectation is. Because as he appears, he will deliver it into your hand. Shall we rise up on our feet right now and from the depth of your heart, with all the faith within you right now, begin to pray desperately, making request of God, letting him know the expectation of your heart. Lord, I've come here to this mountain this evening for an encounter with you. And this is my expectation. Visit me by your word. Appear to me by your word. Open my eyes to the light of your word. Open my ears to the instruction of your word. Open my heart to the reception of your word. Lord, I am here for a practical encounter. Lord, a visitation. A dramatic change of level. I am here, Lord, for an encounter with you. Is somebody praying? Pray from the depth of your heart. Let God hear the voice of your expectation. As you call upon the name of the Lord, do so in faith right now. Cry unto him, my father, my God, tonight I am before you for an encounter with you, for a visitation with you, for an experience with you, for a dramatic turnaround by you. Lord, visit me by your word. Transform me by your word. Change me by your word. Lift me by your word. In the name of Jesus, is somebody praying? Pray from the depth of your heart. Let God hear the voice of your expectation right now. Make sure you are not looking around. Let your eyes and your heart be upon the Lord as you cry unto him this evening. Oh God, I'm here for a visitation, for an encounter with your word. A dramatic change of level by your word. Oh Father, visit me tonight by your word. Transform me by your word. Open my eyes to the light of your word. Open my ears to the sound of your word. Open my heart to the seed of your word. Is somebody praying? Pray from the depth of your heart. Oh, my Father, my God, I am here tonight for a practical encounter. A practical encounter. An encounter with your word. An encounter with your word. An encounter with your word. Is somebody praying? Pray from the depth of your heart. Let God hear the voice of your expectation. Call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, my Father, I am here for an encounter with your word. A visitation by your word. Transformation by your word. Tonight must be my night. Tonight must be my night. My light must come tonight. My encounter must come tonight. 
my change of story must come tonight is somebody praying pray with all your heart let God hear the voice of your expectation as you call upon the name of the Lord let it be Lord let it be Lord a visitation tonight is what I desire if you know you are receiving it already lift up your hand to heaven and begin to give him thanks begin to give him the glory begin to give him the honor father thank you blessed be your holy name you are worthy to be praised and worthy to be glorified in the precious name of the Lord Jesus we have prayed with a loud ovation to Jesus put your hands together as we receive our father the apostle over this commission Bishop David will make it bigger for the Lord this morning hallelujah shall we lift up our two hands to heaven and let us give thanks to Jesus again for bringing us here tonight all over the world when you are hooked on to this program tonight lift up your two hands and thank God for yourself what to do with the force determines what happens to the rest now lift up your two hands and present yourself before the Lord tonight for a turn around encounter a turn around encounter with destiny present yourself to Jesus Jesus here I come longing for an encounter with you an encounter of a lifetime Jesus here I come longing for an encounter with you an encounter of a lifetime thank you in Jesus precious name we have prayed I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit I desire a resurrection order of encounter with you through your word in this Easter camp meeting Jesus open new chapters to my life and destiny by raw encounters with you through your world. Now go ahead and pray, everybody. Go ahead and pray. Help me to remain in the spirit all true. To remain in the spirit all true. Help me to remain in the spirit all true. Help me to remain in the spirit all true. Help me to remain in the spirit all true. Help me to live and walk in the spirit all through this camp meeting. Open my eyes to behold wondrous things out of thy law. Let this come meeting be a turning point in my life. Let my own word come true tonight. Let my own word come true tonight. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for this. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Father, thank you tonight. Thank you tonight. Thank you for the takeoff of this camp meeting tonight. Thank you for opening chapters to the destiny of individuals this meeting. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now let your word go through tonight. Amen. Let it locate each one where we are. Amen. And let your name be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. It's my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen nor ears heard shall be the order of the day in my life this year. Because what Jesus says to you. Congratulations. Give Jesus the biggest clap offering and please be seated. If you have any vacant seat out here, by you, just lift your hands and then a number of people are outside. We can have them to come in and take those seats. Do that now. Just raise your hands. People will come in there and fill up the places. Thank you, Jesus. The theme of this Easter Youth Camp or Camp Meeting is Encounter with Destiny. Hallelujah. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 17 to 20 is the right that scripture for this theme. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save every unsaved person in this camp meeting shall be saved. Yes. He will rejoice over thee with joy. Yes. He will rest in his love. Yes. He will joy over thee with singing. Yes. No one here shall be a burden to God anymore. Yes. Everyone will leave this place pleasing God as a lifestyle. Yes. Then he went on to talk about what, leads, what will lead to this new phase. I will gather them out of sorrow heart for the solemn assembly who are of thee to whom the reproach of the land was a burden. Jesus changed the story of these people. Jesus draw them that are far to yourself. Jesus save them that are lost. At that time he said in verse 19 I will undo all that afflict thee. And I will save her that hurt her. And get her heart that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Yeah. That's the kind of dramatic turnaround God has packaged for you here. Yeah. No one will depart from here with any trace of shame around his or her life. Yeah. And then verse 20. He said, at that time I will bring again even at that time that I gathered you. And I will make you a name and a praise among the people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, say the Lord. That means I will restore to you all that you have ever lost. I will turn again your captivity. And it shall become a praise among the people of the earth. And then, of course, the teaching series is captioned on the way to my high places. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a big hand. On the way to my high places. Every season of revival it's a season of great happenings, great transformations among God's people. Revive thy work, O God, in the midst of the year. Yes. 
Habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 2. In the midst of the years, make known thy power and wrath. Remember mercy. Now, as you engage with this wave, although the victim may not blossom, there may not be fruit in the vine, the fruit of the wave may fail, yet keep engaging, rejoicing. You are the testimony tonight. And then suddenly the Lord will show up and make your feet like iron feet and get you up upon your high places. Now, everybody is changing level from this camp meeting. If you are one of them, let me hear your loudest amen. We are in the midst of a mighty revival in this commission. People are stepping into greatness by the day. New chapters are opening to many per second per second. This is the order of happenings in every move of the spirit. Every move of the spirit sets the pace for great happenings among God's people. Rejoice and be glad, O Lamb, because the Lord will do great things. What is he talking about? For I've given you the former rain, more but come to call down for you the rain, the former rain and the later rain in the first month. Joel 2, 21, jump to 23. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the vase shall overflow with new wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts has eaten. The cacomb, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And my people shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. <laughs> and praise the name of the Lord. And my people shall never be ashamed. Not shall not, but shall never. I will terminate it forever. My people will never see shame again. Yeah. That is what revival does. It wipes away shame and reproach. And repositions God's people for glory and honor. This is so important. And my people shall never be ashamed. And you will know that I am in the midst of Israel. And I am the Lord your God. And my people shall never. Now, now it's repeated verbatim twice. To show that every move of God is to reposition the engaging believers for glory and for honor. Turn them to marvels among people. And then we saw this picture of the move of the Spirit in Ezekiel 37. When the Spirit of the Lord carried Ezekiel to the valley of dry bones. And behold, the bones were very, very dry. Praise God. He said, can these bones live? He said, oh Lord, I don't know. Prophesied to this bones that and they shall live. And he said, oh, you bones, hear you the word of the Lord. And so the bones came together. As I beheld, skin, I mean, uh, flesh covered them. And as I beheld, skin covered the flesh. And then it was full of corpses. He said, prophesied to the wind. That's the move of the spirit. And there arose in that valley a mighty host unto God. Every move of the spirit culminates in the rise of giants. Many giants shall be born in this camp meeting. 
The Lord sent a word into Jacob and turned a nation out of a person. One word is going to hit someone here that will cause the giant in him to bounce back to life. Every revival stares the rise of giants in the body of Christ. In Joel chapter 2 verse 1 to 11, we saw the rise of an army the kind that the world has never seen. One characteristic, they shall walk everyone in his way and everyone in his path, they shall not bring their rounds. Now, a revival time is a time of multiplication of visions. God just showing people what he has in stock for them. Every move of the spirit multiplies visions. Joel 2. Chapter 28 and 29. And so this army rose from the platform of a mighty move of the Spirit. Verse 11 said, And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, because his camp is very great. And great is he that executes his war, for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and no can abide in it. Every revival creates a platform for great happenings and the rise of giants, the kind the world has never seen. Now, if you look at that scripture, it said there has never been their kind, neither would there be any after them until the year of many generations. Never been the kind of them. And they arose in the midst of darkness and gloominess. This camp meeting will birth an army of giants. Yeah. The kind the world has never seen. Yeah. A fire burned before them and behind them a flame burned. The land is like the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. An army of exceptionals. Never seen their kind. Living in the brand new world by engaging with the move of the Spirit. Therefore, Let's come awake. Jesus wept over Jerusalem because they knew not the time of their visitation. We are in a time of visitation as a commission. The unusuals are breaking forth on daily basis. Amazing testimonies told and untold. Amazing testimonies of dramatic turnarounds as people choose to engage with this awesome visitation. Jesus wept over the Jerusalem because they knew not the time of their visitation. They are laid with the ground. Their children along with them. Not one stone is left upon another. Devastation. Because thou knowest not. You miss your time of visitation, you become a victim of devastation. You better come awake. The people that will shape the history of the world are being bathed right now. Yeah. You better come awake. In this opening session, I'll share the following thoughts with you on the way to your high places. 
our destiny is an adventure, not a destination. Our destiny in the kingdom is an adventure and not a destination. If you pick that from the story of the talent, it gave them, according to their several abilities, and straight away took his journey. Do business with this till I come. And one went and traded with his five and gained five more. And he said, now, have the authority over ten cities. Now, he took the one that he didn't do anything with his own and added to the other one and said, I'm going, I'm coming back again. So it's not stopping there. He goes and comes, changes your level. If you are faithful and fruitful, he goes and comes and changes your level. That's why the part of it, the just like a shining light that shines more and more and more and more and more onto a perfect day. The destiny of every child of God is not a destination. It's an adventure. As far as your eyes can see, unto you will I give it. It's an adventure. Our paths are ordained to shine brighter and brighter until the perfect day. The perfect day is when Jesus comes. When the perfect comes, the perfect shall go away. So it's an ever-growing destiny. You do what I say. I set you on high above all nations. Above all nations. From having authority over two cities, then over ten, then as you remain faithful, connected, committed, dedicated, then over 100, then over one nation, then over two nations, then over three nations, then over a continent, and then over two, and then over three, and then over six. Set on high above all nations of the earth. Destiny is not a destination in the kingdom, but an adventure. For instance, every child of God carries greater potentials than all the Old Testament saints in scriptures, Matthew eleven eleven, that also tells you how elastic your destiny and my destiny is in Christ. That we are loaded with virtues and all to be set above all nations of the earth. There is no limit on the destiny of any child of God. Jesus speaking said, if you believe in me, the works that I do shall you do also, and greater works than these shall you do. So there are transgenerational giants here tonight. Yeah. Anywhere you may be around the world, there are people tonight whose empath will still be speaking for many generations to come if Jesus died. <laughs> Whose impact will still be speaking for generations to come if Christ died. <laughs> you are one of them. Let me hear your loudest amen. <laughs> Let me hear your loudest amen. <laughs> every encounter with the world opens a new chapter to the destiny of every child of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. As they, we behold them as in a glass, 
we are changed from glory to glory into the same image as by the spirit of the Lord. Every encounter with the world opens a new chapter to the destiny of every child of God. The Lord said to Abraham, get thee to thy country and I will make thee a great nation. I will bless you and that shall be a blessing. Wonderful. Then in verse 22, he moved him forward and in thy seed, it has left him now to his seed, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. That is, he has moved from the present time realm of glory to generational realms of glory. And in thy seed, just one chapter after another and after another and after another. This will keep you looking up and looking forward. I carry potentials within me that can set me above all nations. And I'm just within one corner. So I have many more rivers to cross. That's how elastic our destiny and redemption is. Galatians 3.29 If you be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. All this is why destiny in the kingdom is an adventure and not a destination. Now we saw this picture in Isaiah chapter 60. Arise and shine, your light is come. The glory of the Lord is written upon thee. Darkness shall cover the earth and grow darkness be. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. Glory shall be seen upon thee. The Gentiles will come to your light and they are kings to the brightness of your rising. That enviable realm. Then we go to verse 8. Who are these that fly as a cloud? That's the flying realm. And then you go to 22. A little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation. Praise God. That's global realm. All by encounters with light. Come and say, I'm changing level. I'm changing. Say it loud, I'm changing level. I'm changing. The loudest you can, I'm changing level. I'm changing. Now, here was God speaking at the base of this ministry. A tabernacle will be built that will seat 50,000. That would seem to say that 50,000 is our ceiling. But until you stop being faithful, you won't stop being fruitful. Until you stop being faithful, you will stop being fruitful. Until you stop being faithful in your work with God, you won't stop being fruitful. That's why it's required of us towards that a man be found faithful so there can be no limit to the height he will scale walking with Jesus. Walking with Jesus. Arise, get down to Lagos. Raise me, people. Wonderful. And now, how did we get to water? This is the place. Another chapter. Destiny is an adventure. Destiny in the kingdom is an adventure, not a destination. Come awake. The demand is be a man of the Spirit. You won't miss what God is saying for time. Be a man of the Spirit. You won't miss what God is saying to you here. In the name of Jesus Christ. So here is a wake up call then. We're in our time of visitation. We must not be overtaken by sleep like Jacob. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep saying, How dreadful is this place? This is none other but the house of God. And this is the gate of heaven. Genesis 28, verse 16 and 17. So we must stay awake as a church and as individuals to the reality of this divine visitation. I, the God of wonder double, is visiting you. And he said, I'm going to be in your midst as long as you want me. 
As long as you want me, I will be in your midst. So the humbling testimonies we are hearing and experiencing will be on the increase. As long as we continue to commit and engage with his divine presence. Do what he tells us to do. We're in a revival as a church, but the question is, are you in a revival as an individual? That question you must answer. Are you in a revival as an individual? What's a revival? A revival is said to occur when men's heart are panting after God for who he is, not for what to get. For who he is. As the heart pants after the streams of water, so pant my heart after thee, O God. Psalm 42 and verse 1. What's a revival? When the fear of God becomes the way of life, God's people. When obeying God becomes a delight. When serving God becomes pleasurable as eating food. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. <laughs> the question is, we are in a revival as a church. And many are experiencing transformational hand of God on their lives. But are you in a revival as an individual? When praying, kingdom of heaven prayer becomes an utmost delight. When pleasing God becomes the desire of your soul. When God becomes the center of your life, that's a revival. When same people saved steers joy on your inside, that's a revival. When your passion for the lost is ever burning, that's a revival. When serving God and the interest of his kingdom becomes your way of life. That's a revival. We are in a revival as a church. But the question is, are you in a revival as an individual? The blessings that accompany a revival answer first to those who are engaging with it. So, so maybe just scared. Just tearing at the testimonies. They've never been able to lay hold on one. Why? The husband man that laboring must be for partake of the fruit. 2 Timothy 2 6. The husband man that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. God is no respecter of persons. Everyone shall be rewarded according to his own labor. The laborer is worthy of his hire. I come quickly and I'll give to everyone according to as his work shall be. God is not more. Whatever man sows, that shall he reap. You sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. You sow casually, you reap casually, if at all. You sow bountifully, and you reap bountifully. No one can get out of life more than what he's willing to put into it. Are you in a revival? The big question. The love of God burning afresh in our hearts 
It's a proof that we are in a revival as individuals. There's an outbreak of the love of God. The love of God is shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost. I once said, and I live by it, whatever God cannot give me, may I never have it. Wherever God can take me to, may I never get there. Whatever God cannot do for me, let it remain undone. I'm satisfied. When your heart is delightsomely panting after God and nothing else, then you are in a revival. No one ever loves God at a loss. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. That's in the heart of any man. The things that God has prepared for them that love him. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It doesn't enter the heart of any man what God has prepared for them that love him. Every true lover of Jesus, which is what a revival steers, ends up a pathfinder, a pace setter, and a trailblazer. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It doesn't enter the heart of any man what God has reserved for those that love him. Therefore, come awake. This is your chance for a jump in destiny. <laughs> Among others, the revival, a revival provides a platform for diverse encounters with destiny. I have also spoken through the prophets. I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. God keeps on appearing to his people in the midst of a revival. Including the unsaved. Including the unsaved. Many just got up, get down to winners, start moving there. It's a time of unusual encounters. You won't miss your portion. Yeah. You will not miss your portion. Yeah. So, it's important to reposition tonight. Those who thought we were having fun, pursuing after Jesus as if we've lost our mind, they now find out we didn't lose our mind. We just found our love. When you find your love, you have secured your future. At 22, I entered into a covenant to make God my reason for living. I pursue that now ever since and I've not had the first regret. When God becomes the center of your life, you're on your way to becoming the center of your world. You're on your way to becoming the center of your world. When God becomes your number one, you're on your way to becoming number one in your endeavors. God cannot be your number one and you have to be number last. Seek him first. The things that please God and the interest of his kingdom is your highway to becoming the first citizen of the earth. Don't miss this for anything. Nobody no profession, no career can get you to a place where God's hands can get you. What your labor of 50 years cannot accomplish, 
God's hand can deliver in one month. He can deliver in one day. Come awake. This revival is not just about church. It's not about Jesus. It's, it's not about this commission. It's about you. Every revival is a platform for your potentials to come alive. You shall not fail your life. You shall not fail your God. You shall not be a disappointment to destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Beginning from this opening session, Easter Youth Camp Meeting 2018 shall be a point of reference in your life. It shall be a point of reference in your life. It shall be a point of reference in your life. Revival will never win until you begin to disconnect. Many giants before us, they pressed the battle to their last moment. Just on fire for God. On fire for the things that please God. Thank God for the great revival in our midst. But thank God much more for the great revival in your soul. May you receive grace. So keep this fire burning. Yeah. Leviticus chapter 6 and verse 12 and 13. And the fire upon the altar of your heart shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out. The priest shall burn wood on it every morning and lay the burnt offering order upon it and it shall burn there on the fat of the peace offerings. He said, the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Now, go to that verse 12. The priest shall burn wood on it every morning. The wood there is the word of life. And lay the burnt sacrifices in order. So there's a demand on your life. Pray. Fasting, reaching out to the lost, ensuring they are saved and establishing the faith. That's how to keep the fire burning. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every gang up of hell against retaining this fire in your life, I come against it today. Take this along. Nothing of value is free. Everything of value carries a cost. To be free from shame and reproach forever, there is a cost. As long as the bonfire remains high, the wild beast will stay at bay. As the bonfire begins to come burn low, they come closer. The brighter the light, the farther away the darkness. You want to walk out of shame and reproach forever? Then keep the bonfire high. By casting new wood morning by morning into that fire and taking responsibility to make it happen. It doesn't take time to experience it turn around. It takes engagement with the truth to experience it. Oh, the ark of the Lord was in the house of Bethlehem. You know the demands of the ark of God. The daily sacrifices 
That must be offered. And he was doing that for three months. Morning and night. And within three months, God turned the story around dramatically. There are many people here today as you reposition to make God the center of your life in this great move of the Spirit. God will turn you to the envy of your world. God will turn you to the envy of your world. God will turn you to the envy of your world. So it's not about engagement. It's about the tempo of engagement. Come and say tempo. tempo. It's about the tempo of engagement. The tempo, your tempo of engagement matters to God's turnaround agenda in your life. The tempo is a reward of them that diligently seek him, not casually seek him. Let's get connected. Every revival is a breeding ground for the rise of giants. You must be listed among these 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 exceptional giants. In the name of Jesus. By getting adequately involved with this move of the spirit. Every giant in the body of Christ is a product of a revival. Coming out of the valley of dry bones as a giant for God. It doesn't matter where you are now, you are coming out. I say 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 you are coming out. I said you are coming out. I said you are coming out. You are coming out of that valley. 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 Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. It's a new dawn. It is your new dawn. It is your new dawn. It is your new dawn. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we round up tonight, yes, we are in great days as a commission because of this mighty move of the Spirit. But we don't wait to see great things happen. We take steps to make great things happen. What do we do? You don't wait to see great things happen. We take great steps to make great things happen. Get out of their country, said to Abraham at the age of 75. And from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will there make of thee what? A great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee. And him that causeth thee, I will cause. And in this shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Now, the beauty of it is in verse 4. And so Abraham departed. You don't wait to see great things happen. You take great steps to make great things happen. We are in great days, in the great days of the church. Particularly this commission. You don't watch and wish and wait to see great things happen. You take great steps to make great things happen. Now, take thy son, thy only son, Isaac. Amen. 
to a man that I'll show you. And offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains that we should tell you. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass, took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and cleaved the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went into the place of which God had told him. He wasn't going to be telling the story. You see, God told me I should take my son. What do you think? You don't wish, you don't watch, and you don't wait to see great things happen. You take great steps to make great things happen. You take great steps to make great things happen. So get out of your slumber. Stop wishing. Stop watching. Stop waiting. You take great steps to make great things happen. And now we saw in Exodus chapter 4 how Moses, verse 18 to 20, told Jethro, he said, Lord, let me go back to Egypt and see how my brethren are doing whether they be yet alive. And Jethro said, go in peace. After that vision, he took the great step with his life in his hand to get back to Egypt. And Moses took his wife and his sons and set them upon an ass, verse 20, and returned to the land of Egypt. And Moses took the rod of God in his hand. He went by the word of God back into Egypt. He dared the step. And Exodus 11:3, the Bible says, And Moses, and the Lord gave the people favor in the most sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt. You take great steps to make great things happen. Chapter 34 of Deuteronomy verse 7. Moses was 120 years old. When he died, his eye was not dim, dim nor his natural faith force abated. Verse 10. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. You don't wait to see great things happen. You take great steps to make great things happen. Nehemiah took that great step and dared the king. Why should I not be sad? Come if you want. And within 52 days, he became a governor. You take great steps to make great things happen. Stop wishing. Stop watching. Stop waiting begin to take steps begin to take steps begin to take steps begin to take steps according to the dictates of scriptures begin to take steps let every word you receive on this mountain in your various camps across the world Prepare you to take steps. Watch. The Lord spoke to me and delivered this mandate. I had no premonition. But a few days after that, a meeting was already called to share the vision so it won't die. The same month, the weekly fellowship was established. Oh, take steps. Arise, get down to Lagos, raise me people. The same day, the same day, you need this Abrahamic order of grace on your life. Not to miss your place in destiny. You need it. You need it. You need this Abrahamic order of grace on your life. Not to miss your steps. Not to miss your steps. You take 
great steps to make great things happen. Noah being one of God, moved. No take steps. Hebrews 7, 7. Moved with fear. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house. Moved. You can't go forward without motion. The Lord spoke to me about mission to Africa on the 4th of May. By the 8th of May, we dedicated Africa to Jesus. By the 14th of June, we opened the office. By January, we took the land. You don't watch. You don't wish. You don't wait. You take great steps. to make great things happen. Why is this church not growing? The Lord opened the heavens and I saw it. And same time, we quickly printed flyers titled, Come and See the way it told me. And we have been saying, Come and see ever since the month of March 1984. You take great steps to make and keep great things happening. Show me your faith without your works, and I'll show you my faith by my works. Show me your faith without your steps. The steps you are taking, and I'll show you my faith by the steps I'm taking. There are many stepless believers in the world today. Don't take no step and say, I'm believing God. Believing God for what? He said, depart, you didn't depart. What are you believing for? Take your son for me for sacrifice. You didn't wake up to do it. You said, believing God for what? We are in the great days of this commission. We are an army of young people, old and young, we come alive. The kind the world has never seen. Men who are sold out to God in truth and in deed and will do whatever God tells, no matter how they feel. Stop waiting so you don't waste your life. You have only one life to live. Don't waste it. Gideon took steps. David took steps against Goliath. And imagine a national hero as a teenager. Go and fight this man. Nobody has capacity to defy the army of God at this empty Goliath is doing. I will go and fight this man. They said, Your brother said, You are very pressed. I agree. I will go. The king said, Look, don't die like this. Let me give you my coat. He said, Look, I've not proved this one. Carry your coat. Can't you use your coat to confront him? I said, Enough. He said, No. He took these bold steps, brought Goliath down. I took over the land. Now, grace to take Abrahamic order of steps in your response to the demands of this move of the Spirit. Receive it now. Yeah. Receive it now. Yeah. Receive it now. Yeah. In your productive labor in the Fire today lies your future. Wake up. If you are Abraham's seed, then you do the words of Abraham. Wake up. Every of your investment of time, energy, and resources. Is an investment into your destiny. Wake up. My prayer tonight is that everyone leaves this place taking appropriate steps. Yeah. It is taking great steps that engenders great happenings. Take steps. You don't follow sitting down. You follow taking steps. Follow me and I will make you. 
you end up ultimately doing what whatsoever you claim to be following is doing. But you can't follow anybody sitting down. You follow anyone you choose to follow taking steps. I've said many of you will see brighter than I see. Yeah. I scale higher highs than I ever scale. Yeah. What that means is take steps. Don't be slothful. But followers of them who through faith and patience obtain the promises. Followers. Followers. The followers of today are the leaders of tomorrow. Follower. Follower of them who through faith and patience obtain the promises. Inherit the promises. Be not slothful. But followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. You can't follow anybody sitting down. You follow anyone you choose to follow taking steps. My passion for souls has not dwindled one bit. I preached my first message in 1970. I was privileged to find a church in a village where I was on holidays, holiday job of 72 days, at the age of 19, my heart for Jesus has kept pumping and pumping and pumping and it has not stopped changing my level and changing my level. Now, Paul said, follow me, even be you followers of me, even as I am of Christ. First Corinthians 11, 1. You need this Z from heaven. Put your right hand on your chest. Jesus Set the fire of your zeal in my heart tonight. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of wishing. I'm tired of watching. I'm ready to take steps. Tirelessly. Delightsomely. Zealously. Jesus, do this in my life tonight. I must not miss out of this great move. I must make the most of it. So help me, Jesus. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. Tonight is important for us to know That only the living can have an encounter with God. The dead cannot have an encounter with God. Whosoever has Christ has life. Whosoever has not life, has no Christ, has no life. Living begins at new birth. Wherever you are tonight, around the world you want to be born again you want to be saved you want to become a child of God I'd like to pray with you can I ask that you stand to your feet everyone that wants to give his or life to Christ stand to your feet tonight stand to your feet tonight wherever you are Jesus loves you outside and inside wherever you are tonight across the nations of the earth, the various cities and towns of Nigeria. Please stand to your feet. God bless you. You want Jesus to forgive your sins? You want to become a child of God? Stand to your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Many more need to get up wherever you are. Get up right now. In Jesus' precious name. Now, let me tell you what happens when you are saved. Please remain standing. Say with me, God is light. First John 1, 5. And in him is no darkness at all. No, God has light. God is light. And because light begets light, when you are saved, you become a child of light. Now, the question is, can darkness torment light? Can darkness block the way forward against light? No. Can darkness oppress light? No. 
Can darkness cross light? That's why whatever is born of God overcome the world. Because we live in the world of darkness. When you become a child of light, you come and overcome. All those oppressions in the night, all those oppressions in your sleep, making you to eat in your sleep and all kinds of harassments in your life. Who says? When you are born again and you know what it means to be born again, for that light shines in darkness and darkness can't handle it. And that's the true light that lighted every man that comes to the world. Whether you are black or white, whatever, whatever it is, whatever color. It's the true light that lighted everyone that comes to the world. If you are here tonight, you are not sure of your salvation, stand to your feet. Please stand. I want to pray with you. Stand to your feet. You are still being oppressed day and night. Stand to your feet. You have never experienced the true meaning of overcoming. Stand to your feet. Now, new birth is not an ideology, it's an experience. If anyone be in Christ, a new creature, all things are passed away, all things have become new. You want to experience the reality of new birth, stand to your feet. Everybody standing, can I request that you please make your way towards the altar right now. Make your way towards the altar, and that applies to all various centers around the world. Right now, make your way towards the altar right now. The pastors are waiting to receive you there. Please come, please come, please come. Please come. Please flow this area, flow to this side, move back a bit. Keep coming. You are from outside, you are from inside, please just come. Keep coming. Youth alive. Encounter with destiny. Keep coming wherever you are. Come on, keep clapping. Keep clapping as they come. Keep clapping. Jesus is winning. Satan is losing. Keep clapping. Jesus is winning. Satan is losing. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Thank you, Jesus. Now, at the same time tonight, let's do it together. We still have some spaces all over the places. Now, you want to rededicate your life to Jesus today. Because a broken branch is dead. It's only a matter of time. You want to dedicate your life to Jesus tonight? And stop the one leg in and one leg out. Today on, tomorrow off. You want to stand out for Jesus all your life. You want to stay there, come back to Jesus tonight. Wherever you are, stand up also. I'll pray with you at the same time. You want to dedicate your life to Jesus? Please stand and be on your way coming now. Be on your way coming. 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 You are coming, be on your way coming. Come on, be on your way coming. In all our big centers, please. Youth officials watch over wherever they are standing from. Make sure everything is in order and safe and clean. Be on a lap. They are returning to Jesus. They are returning back to Jesus. They are returning back to Jesus tonight. They are returning back to Jesus tonight. They are returning back to Jesus tonight. I want to see more youth officials. Please stand to your feet and then be part of helping to be sure everything is in order. Please. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone in front, would you please bow your heads? Lift up your right hand to heaven. And talk to Jesus. Jesus, save my soul. 
restore me back to the faith tonight. Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Now, pray by yourself. Pray by yourself. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, call upon the name of the Lord tonight for your salvation, for your rescue, for your restoration. Now, call upon him. Call upon him. I'm dying, O oh Lord, I've heard thy voice. Sing that hymn. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord. And put it on the screen too, please. In Jesus' precious name. Now, with your right hand lifted, pray this prayer before the Most High God all over the world to our various locations at this time. Say with me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I surrender my life to you tonight. To you. Forgive me all my sins. Me Wash me with your blood. Me with your I believe you died for me. Died for me. On, the On the third day you rose again. That I might be justified. Be justified. Right, now. right now. I believe. I my sins are now forgiven. I'm not a child of God. And I proclaim you today. The Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you, Jesus. For saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus. For restoring me back to the faith. I will serve you. All the days of my life. No more going back for me. I'm going forward with you all the days of my life. Amen. Keep your hands up. Lord Jesus, I pray over these precious souls at this time. Your grace has brought them forth. Let the same grace preserve them. I cover every one of you with the precious blood of Jesus. Remain covered all the days of your life. Thank you, Jesus. Take all the praise. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are they going this way? Please turn and go this way. In all the locations, please direct these precious souls we are to go to. As soon as you submit your card, you get back to your seat. Amen. I am dying, O oh Lord. I am Yeah, bro. 
Shall we rise to our feet, everybody? How many have experienced divine visitation tonight? He said he will save. As he saved, then he will rejoice over us with singing. He will rest in his law. We are going to see amazing manifestation of his law in this 2018 Easter Youth Camp meeting. God's unusual manifestations will visit us. Now, lift up your two hands and give God thanks. If you have been blessed tonight, we are going to have some praises. A few minutes for them to step in to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. There shall be explosive joy in this camp meeting. The stories of many will be changing per second, per second. God will be repositioning you supernaturally. Your concerns will be turned to testimony. It shall be a mountain of good news. It shall be a mountain of good news. It shall be a mountain of good news. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For every location to show down, together let's share the goodness of the Lord. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall do the best of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Now, let's have his praise. All locations or stations around the world, please, you can show down and then close the session out there with any announcements that you have. Amen. Everybody rejoice. Jesus, we say you are good. Your message is forever. Come on, somebody. We say you are good. Your message is forever. Your message is forever, oh, forever, and ever. You are good, oh. your message is forever. Oh. Oh, 
be calling me Ruby DK, Jehovah Jarry, Ruby DK. Aye, Jehovah. Somebody calling me Ruby DK, Jehovah Jarry, Ruby DK. Somebody calling me Ruby DK, Jehovah Jarry, Ruby DK. Say, I call him. Say, I call him. Say, I call him. Give God the glory. Thank him for the encounter of tonight. Father, thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Give Jesus a big hand and please quickly take your seat. For a moment, we are going to quickly take the announcement for tonight. Take your seat very quickly, everybody, as we take the announcement for tonight. Number one, praise the Lord. All participants of this 2018 Easter Youth Camp meeting are required to be registered. Registration takes place outside the youth chapel for male campus and at the Faith Academy Multipurpose Hall for female campus. Number two, the Easter Youth Camp meeting continues tomorrow morning with the following schedule. Number one, the covenant hour of prayer kicking off at 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. And for this camp meeting, it will hold at our respective camp locations. So for the male camp, it will hold at your camp location and the female camp at the camp location. 5.30 is the time. The morning session kicks off at 8 a.m. prompt, and that takes place till 12 p.m. noon. And to the glory of God, it will be kicking off at the Faith Tabernacle. <laughs> Give Jesus a big hand. Hallelujah. Thirdly, workshops will be holding tomorrow afternoon from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And the various workshops will be given to us in the morning session. And we have the hour of prayer between 3 and 4 p.m. Exhibition and sports between 4 and 7 p.m. And evening session between 7 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. Number three, all campers are expected to adhere to all camp rules. The details of camp rules will be read or at all the accommodation facilities. Where in doubt, contact camp officials for direction. Number four, we are all reminded to be our brother's keeper. All health challenges or suspicious movements should be reported to camp officials for immediate attention. And number five, the camp is equipped with facilities for feeding and other necessary amenities. Therefore, no camper is expected to leave the campground at for any reason. Praise the Lord. Let's also take note the various social media feeds are available for the Youth Alive um, Fellowship. And that includes the, youth, the Facebook Youth Alive FT, Twitter Youth Alive FT, Instagram Youth Alive FT, Telegram Youth Alive FT, and YouTube Youth Alive FT. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Shall we rise on our feet tonight and one more time lift your hand to heaven as we give him thanks. Father, thank you for the blessing of this glorious night. We give you the praise. If the first night has been this glorious, imagine what is waiting for you all through the rest of this camp. Will you thank God ahead of what is waiting for you? Thank him for what is waiting for you, the encounters you are having with destiny upon this mountain. Father, thank you. Blessed be your holy name. You are worthy to be praised and glorified in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. We have prayed. Let us share the goodness of the Lord together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, shall become the
is anybody around here who was born on the 11th of November? Is there anybody called Posha who was born on the 11th of November? If it is you, speak to people next to me. Posha. Passed off clearly his Do name, Posha, and by the spirit reveals the spring's date of birth. If your name is Posha, you are born on the 11th of November. I need to see you. Yeah, she's here, man of God. She's here. This is her. If you are here. This woman comes forth and identifies herself as Portia, reiterating the truth that indeed God speaks through his servant, Pastor Alf. What's your name? Portia. Your name is Portia. Yes. The Lord spoke to me about a woman, Portia, who was born on the 11th of November. Is that you? Yes. You were born on the 11th of November. Yes. I am seeing Portia with three children. Is that you? Yes. The Lord wants me to help you because of a man called Mukululi. Mukululi is my husband. Mukululi is your husband. Mm, yes, man of God. Mukululi doesn't stay here. Mukululi stays in Cape Town. Yes, Because man of Asi God. is working in ADT. Is yes, that correct? Yes, man of God. He works in ADT. Yes. But last week when he left to come to Johannesburg to spend time with the family, something happened at work that broke into a car. Yes, man of God. And they say it is him. He took things and he ran. Yes. But that was not true. Yes, man of God. So the 